Before we get to our segment, here is a special announcement for all our Sports Cubicle and Sports from the Couch colleagues and friends. I'm writing a book. It is Lucha Dog. We have started the Kickstarter. Check us out at kickstarter.com. Lucha Dog, it has been a passion project of mine. It's something I've been working on for a little over a year and a half, and it's something for the family. It's something for kids. It's something for adults, and it's also something to really showcase what I'm proud of, and that's heritage, community, and opening ourselves up to others, and it's something that I think you all will get a, a kick out of, so check us out. We're on Twitter at Lucha Dog Book, on Facebook at Lucha Dog, and Instagram, Lucha Dog Book, and at Kickstarter, Lucha Dog. So this just came down the wire. I was just getting ready to start my three-day weekend, and I hope each and every one of you has a safe and a wonderful three-day Memorial Day weekend. Of course, our appreciation and I love for all those who sacrificed their lives for our freedom and, of course, all those serving our great country right now. And please be safe this Memorial Day weekend, but... As we were getting ready to wrap up shop here on the Sports Cubicle with the Marvelous One, Dan Marver, Devin Single, Paul Shavari, and myself, Mike Mercado. This comes to us from CBS Sports, Jeff Kerr. The Arizona Cardinals released the Andre Hopkins on Friday, meaning the three-time first-team All-Pro wide receiver is free to pick any team he wants to play for in 2023 and beyond. Hopkins has already mentioned the teams he would like to play for this season, listing what he wants from his next organization. And we have some quotes from Hopkins. Quote, what I want is stable management upstairs. Hopkins said on the I Am Athlete podcast earlier this week. Quote, I think that's something I haven't really had the past couple of years of my career coming from Houston and then to Arizona. Quote, I've been through three or four GMs in my career. So a stable management, a QB who loves the game, a QB who brings everybody on board with him and pushes not just himself, but everybody around him, and a great defense. A great defense wins championships. Not only did Hopkins reveal what he wants regarding his next team, but the 31-year-old wide receiver actually lists the quarterbacks he would like to play with on his next team. Patrick Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, Josh Allen, Jalen Hurts, and Justin Herbert in no particular order. So let's go ahead and and break this down a little bit. It'd be interesting how this does play out, but a really quick Bears perspective for this, right? Here being in Chicago, DJ Moore being on this team now, that trade, how big and huge for this organization, how monumental of a thing it was for Houston to beat Indianapolis, for the Bears to be able to have that number one pick, especially Arizona being hanging around in there as well, that... The Bears were able to get DJ Moore. And now they have a young wide receiver with their young quarterback. And Darnell Mooney is able to place down in his proper position. Chase Claypool, Cole Komet. They, uh, they brought in Tunyon. And, it, you know, it it worked itself out. It worked out the way the Bears were hoping it would so far on paper. If DeAndre Hopkins was available and the Bears weren't able to get a DJ Moore in that trade, let's say it was another draft pick or whatever the case may be, I believe they would have been all over Hopkins. But it's interesting to see how Hopkins has already listed who he wants to play for. And it's only money, right? Like the NFL does have the salary cap. So they're going to have to be, some of these teams are going to have to be very creative on how they make this work. But of course, Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs makes all the sense of the world. For a 31-year-old who's had a great career, a way to solidify himself and be part of an offense that doesn't, really just ask for him to be the star. It's just another weapon to add to that. Same thing with a Philadelphia Eagles. Like, imagine him right next to A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith. Like, that with Jalen Hurts, if Jalen Hurts is the truth, that big contract, and he continues his maturation, that's that's a nice, a really nice, dangerous team. And it kind of has the formula of, well, if they're in their window, this is for them to strike. This is that moment especially if you've invested so much in your quarterback, why not just add him another weapon? The Justin Herbert thing, seeing him right next to a Mike Williams and obviously right next to Keenan Allen and Austin Eckler for another season and just how special Justin Herbert is, that makes sense for them on just the level of how tough that division is, just trying to keep up with the Chiefs and the rest of the AFC with Cincinnati and Baltimore, and Miami, and Buffalo. 
Like there, if you're the Chargers and you know you're gonna have to play Justin Herbert real money real soon, and you're trying to strike right now, it makes a lot of sense in that division, in that conference. Same thing with Josh Allen. Steph Diggs and DeAndre Hopkins with Josh Allen would be something special, especially knowing how stagnant that Bill's offense looked towards the end of the season. And Lamar just giving him another weapon with that new contract. You have Odell Beckham. Like, that would make sense. And you talk about keeping up. Like, as much as the Chargers need to keep up, you're going against the Bengals. Jamar Chase is special, and I think T. Higgins is really good. But Joe Burrow is going to make a lot of wide receivers look good. So if you're Baltimore and you just invested all this money on Lamar Jackson, it only makes sense that you're in win now and you're bringing in this veterans. So it's fascinating to see. And it's also fascinating to see that Arizona is out this season. Kyler Murray will not play this coming up season. The Arizona Cardinals are going to be all in on the number one pick. They're probably going to be in on Caleb Williams, or at the very least, just trying to get a haul in for that number one pick. But you talk about aborts and and ring the alarms, and this is going to be a 2-3 win team. Arizona is going to be bad. They couldn't figure out a trade option for DeAndre Hopkins. They couldn't come up with anything. They just had to straight up release him. You talk about bad management. You talk about it not working out. How wonderful it was as Bears fans to see this organization be on the right end of things when it came to draft picks and trades and free agency. This has not been the case for Arizona. So DeAndre Hopkins kind of has his choice, and we'll see if Dallas ends up being in the mix with it. We'll see if Green Bay ends up being in the mix with it. We'll see if the Jets... There's going to be plenty of teams in the next few weeks who are going to be head over heels and salivating over the idea of bringing in the Andre Hopkins. We want to know your thoughts. Where do you think Hopkins ends up? Let us know. We're on Twitter at Sports Cubicle TV. Make sure you leave a comment over on the YouTube channel at The Sports Cubicle and wherever else you get your favorite podcast at Sports from the Couch. Check out our friends over at Sheets and Giggles. You think the Andre Hopkins is clutch? Check out the people and the amazing inventory of goodies that are over at Sheets and Giggles and use the promo code, the Sports Cubicle, Sports from the Couch, for 15% off your next purchase. And of course, thank you all so much for the love of Lucha Dog. Check out our Kickstarter at Kickstarter Lucha Dog. We are getting so much love and support, and we are inching our way to our goal, and we hope that you get your hands on an edition of Lucha Dog very soon. And we'll keep it right here if any other major NFL news drops during the holiday season. For the Marvelous One, Dan Marver, for Devin Tingle, for Paul Shavari, I'm Mike Mercado.